Hello! In a previous video I showed you how to make this magnetic linear actuator and in this video I will use it to make a motor. The flywheel of the motor is a piece that I took off an old VCR and it goes press fitted on a block of wood that has a hole like this. I have the actuator coupled to the flywheel by means of this axle and this plastic tube, so they move together. Now the way in which the motor works is the following. When the flywheel is in this position, we apply power to the actuator so that it will make the flywheel turn. And now at this point we have to disconnect power to the actuator and the flywheel will move because of its inertia until we get again at this point and we apply power again and so on. So we need a way to connect and disconnect the magnetic actuator. I have added a string of magnets and also a red switch or magnetic switch so that when the flywheel is in this position, the red switch closes and activates the coils. Then the flywheel moves until we are in the position of the last magnet and the red switch opens. Then the flywheel continues to move because of its inertia until we arrive at the initial position again and the cycle repeats. I also added a MOSFET because the red switch cannot handle the current required by the coils. This is the circuit. When a magnet is close to the red switch, the current can flow through the switch and opens the gate of the MOSFET. Then the current can flow from positive through the coils and the MOSFET and back to the negative of the power supply. And now let's see how the motor works. Okay, so the contraption works. Hope you have enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Before ending, I want to show you this drill press that I just acquired for my workshop. It is not the best around, however, I think it's okay for the small parts that I usually need for my projects. Part of the money came from my patrons, so many thanks to them.